So it's now when this okay now let's talk about this limit x moment because Peter Dera also talked about it in a yeah, sense. Yeah. Just I want to hear it now your version of it. Is if that's where we go next. Yeah. Okay. So what uh, limit x came to play at the Kenyan fellowship. Those one of them was interested in one of the girls of the fellowship. We're not going to say who. But they came in. To, <laughs> <laughs> so they came to play and we had them playing we were like hey these guys are serious but then we were asked to open for them. So we opened for Limitex at the at the fellowship, eh? and then um, afterwards, one of them, Ruchi, came and said, "You guys actually sound nice. You should think about recording an album." Yeah. We're like, "What?" That by the yeah. was was a moment. Right? That was yeah. a moment because he just said, "You guys actually sound good." Mm -hmm. And this hearing this from Limitex, who we had grown up knowing, you know, yeah. we had known them from those days of uh, of Bapu, oh, no Sitam. Of, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, remember when they came to Sitam? Yes, yes, yes. So yes. we knew them. They were, these are were idols. When your idols tell you, hey, you guys, are, you sound good, you should record an album. We're like, record an album. We don't know where we can record. The guy said, actually, I'll hook you guys up. I'll take you to a producer who is in Northridge, California, and will actually pay your first deposit. Mm -hmm. What? You know, pay your first studio deposit. So Ruchi, Isaac Ruchi from Limitex, the guy just said, I believe in you guys. I believe you guys should actually record. They're like, if you guys record, then it, it goes beyond you guys. Yeah. We're not even thinking of recording. There was no... It this wasn't, thing it wasn't was, in our plan. Wasn't this was, we're thing. doing this for fun. Milele was just not a... It wasn't a thing. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to be a music group. We're just buddies hanging out. Yeah. But when Isaac declared that, it was almost like the moment of anointing and saying, you guys are becoming a group. Yeah. And that's when the first recording of the first album started. So, but did he actually pay that money? He did. He paid a thousand bucks. He paid a thousand dollars. He paid a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars then. It was a lot of cash, huh? Yeah. What year is this now? And introduced us to Steve. This is 2099, 2000. I think 2000. Because we recorded it in 2000, right? The first, the first half of... I think it was 1999. No, no, no. We recorded the album in the first the first half of 2000. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So the... the So we must have met him then in end of 99. Yeah, yeah. End of 99. But it was, it was such a fun pro. Fun. Hey, so now, fun. okay. So we're talking now about your first album, Forever. Yes. Yeah, right. Now, Forever. so Ruchi pays the deposit for this thing, and now that sparks the okay. Let's let's enter this thing. Oh, yeah. and these guys went crazy. Like Kanji and Mora got, uh, Kanji and Kaima got crazy because we were in the studio with Steve Jean. And Steve Jean had them, and he was like, man, I like these guys. So Steve Jean was like, eh, let me make your music. And so he got in the studio, they started working, yeah? <laughs> yeah, three, yeah. Months, <laughs> three months, three yeah. months. They worked in the studio so hard, the three of them would go, i just drive them, pick them up, you know, and uh, make noise when they called me to just make noise. There's one time I, 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 I think I almost So died. vocally, were you, were you were not on the album? Yeah, I was. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Talking about there's one time I almost died coming from the studio. Remember, we because we, we, used to, we used to pretty much record from 8 p.m. until maybe like 5 in the morning. Yeah. Because during the day, we were working in studio dead time. Yeah, and it's studio dead time. So I used to go sequence everything and then and record and then Steve Jean comes in to mix and add a few yeah. thing my jigs. I remember coming well I think we left Northridge. Northridge to where the school we went was about about like 70 miles. Yeah. So it's like going from here to maybe like Nakuru. Give or take I think. Yeah. Yeah. Close. Or maybe yeah. so maybe it's just a Gilgil. Yeah. So I, I remember leaving leaving the house leaving the studio at five in the morning. And I had to put the window down because I was sleeping. Because I was like, I was like, I don't know how I got home. But I was, I was, I was, I was with you. I was with you. We're okay. together. We're in that video. Yeah, the guy. So yeah, it, was yeah, yeah, yeah. it was just the long. I just don't know how I got. I got because I love, love died. Yeah, yeah. Because I was, I basically, well, basically was sleeping. We walked the whole night. Yeah, and was going, going to back to college, to university, to, to go to class. And at this time, did you guys feel like, okay, we're working on this? Is big. Were you feeling it or you guys were just excited to be in the studio? Ni, 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 ni. I was just excited to be, at least for me, I was just excited to be in the studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, I, but at this point, we have got no sense of. I don't know, you did you? Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I was just excited. Yeah. Yeah. The way it sounded was unlike anything we'd ever had. You know, like Steve Jean with these guys, mm. the combination of Kaima's creativity, Kanji's music ability with Akira, the combination of it all was, to me was going like, there's something that's coming out of here that's gonna be crazy. Cause I'd never had any sound like that. Mm. You know, so for me, I was just looking at that and I was in awe. Mm. I don't think they were, but I was, you know, like if, uh, standing back, I was like, that doesn't sound like us. It mm. Sounds amazing. And and that first album, it's it's you guys who would write. I mean, I'm hearing you saying about your sequencing. Right. So I said we had some of the songs, <clears throat> but then yeah, but um, like the high, you know, the high. The high was Steve Jean and and Kanji who came up with the tune. Um, forever the same thing. It's about yourself and how much you deliver. Quicker, bigger, better. Cause. The high you feel is incredible, but it's not possible. Just 
deserve two masses who you loving now you loving who now? you feeling now? You feeling now so what you gon' go 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 what you gon' go, 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 go the high you feel is incredible but it's not possible you deserve two masses who you loving now who you feeling now so what you gon' go 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 what you gon' go sitting in your room wondering what you gonna do living a life that is don't need no good now listen my friend this choice is very clear Choose life and choose God as the only one of fear and love and love No matter what you do, you need to let God on oh, oh, oh. You need to let God In every, every little thing, in every single day you leave Gotta let God take control of you every single day of your life So help me everybody sing The higher you feel is incredible But it's not possible in and just and then and then steve jean serving his role as the as the master producer yeah. for as and i just sit down and they'll tell me sound. here's a beat write, write, lyrics. Write, write the lyrics so i just go write lyrics they i throw them to them they just go hey. and sing them. Yeah, we slice we edit and and we and we print yeah I'm sure it was it was mad it was exciting. Fun. It was, was mad mad because again, as he said, we didn't know where it was going to go. We were just in the studio, we're just taking our musical knowledge and just applying it. All the stuff you're learning in the classroom mm-hmm. and just trying to apply it into because again, it was more classical. Kanji and I and, and Bora, it was not classical training, but how do you now shape all these ideas into a more accessible pop, yeah. pop, mm-hmm. pop format? Yeah. Crazy. So and then like through more. then through that, we started now having like little gigs here and there. I think the I still remember doing. Um, um, what's it, when did we do our Pomona? After concert. Yeah, concert. the Pomona concert. That was, it, it, there was there wasn't a forever concert. There, was, there wasn't an album. It, it, it was it was that was I think the same gig we did at Marty's. Yes. Oh, we, we did. did yeah, yeah, we yeah, now yeah, did at the yeah. church. Yeah. 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 So, so we're, we're doing getting, a little. A few getting the speakers. Those old <laughs> old speakers. Uh, <laughs> ah, by the way, there's a there's a story here. There's a story here. Doing it. There's a story here. Somebody pull a tune. No, 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 no. No. Ah, ah, probably because. With Kegang and Mora are the ones sourcing everything. <laughs> and they had already shown <laughs> behaviors of Nini <laughs> that are very uncouth <laughs> and becoming <laughs> grand food. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so after doing that gig at his workplace, we, we took yeah. this same gig now to our church. Yeah. Nice. Our, the Kenyan church that Kenyan we went church. to. Because uh-huh. yeah. we, we went to a Kenyan church, but we also went to an American church. 